Take a close look at this statistic switch picture. It looks like a lot of work, but it can actually be done with only one line of code. So in this video, we'll learn how to do that and how to interpret all these results. Let's get straight into it. If you have installed and loaded ggstatsplot package, you can use ggbarstats function to conduct and visualize chi-square test of independence between two categorical variables, where variable can have two or more categories. Within this function, we need to specify only four arguments. First, our data. For example, let's take empty cars, which you already have in R, so you don't need to look for it. Then, X as one of your categorical variables. For example, transmission of the car, with zero being automatic transmission and one being manual transmission. Y would be your second variable. Let's take the number of cylinders, four, six, or eight, and the label argument, which displays both numbers and percentages of observations in each category. This simple command results in a statistically rich and publication-ready plot. Now, let's interpret the results. Chi-square statistics was previously used to manually calculate p-value, but nowadays, since p-values are always calculated by computers, we can safely ignore it. p-value in our test can be seen as the probability of independence between two variables. Low p-value, usually below 005, like in our example, indicates that number of cylinders and transmission of cars are dependent on each other. Indeed, the plot shows that the number of cars using automatic transmission increases with increasing number of cylinders. The opposite is true for cars with manual transmission their frequency declines as number of cylinders increases. So we can conclude that the relationship between transmission and number of cylinders exists. However, p-value doesn't say how strong this relationship is. That's why we have the Kramer value with its 95% confidence intervals as the effect size next to p-value. Our effect size of 0.46 indicates a relatively strong relationship, which supports the conclusion made by the p-value. The confidence intervals do not make much sense though, since v Kramer goes from 0 to 1 anyway. However, ggbarstats also provides a second Bayesian v Kramer effect size, which delivers much more useful 95% highest density intervals. The interpretation of the Bayesian effect size is the same, so the relationship between our variables is relatively strong. If that's not enough, we can look at the bias factor, which tests both null and alternative hypotheses at the same time. Bias factor of minus 2.8, in our example, indicates a strong evidence for the alternative hypothesis that the relationship exists, which is in line with the frequency statistics on the top of the plot. We can also see proportion tests for transmissions in each cylinder. They show where the proportions inside every cylinder differ. Our null hypothesis here is that there are equal proportions of different transmissions in a particular category of cylinder, which is the case for cylinders 4 and 6, while our alternative hypothesis is that the proportions differ, which is the case for cylinder 8. If you find a significant relationship between variables and you have more than two categories in any of your variables, like in our example, you might be interested to compare proportions of cylinders with each other, namely 4 with 6, 4 with 8, and 6 with 8. Such simple pairwise comparison is often called with an unnecessary fancy name post hoc tests. The easiest way to make pairwise proportion tests is to use pairwise prop test function from our statics package. Thus, first install and load our statics package, 
then use table function for a contingency table of your variables. And finally, simply apply pairwise prop test function to your contingency table. The results show two kinds of p-values, normal and adjusted for multiple comparisons. Always use the adjusted ones. So we see that there is a significant association between cylinders 4 and 8, where cylinder 4 has more manual transmission, while cylinder 8 has more automatic transmission. So thanks for watching. If you did like this video, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you again soon in the next one.